Hey guys, Jen here with Chaos and Grace, and today I am going to show you our science curriculum for this 2018-2019 school year. So let's just jump right in it. This year, I have decided to go something totally different with what um, we've done in the past, or compared to what we've done in the past. Um, I have my now eighth grader is going to, well, he's thinking of doing environmental science. Hey, Evie, can you not jump on the bed, please? Yes. I'm filming on my bed because it's where the lighting is the best, and I have my my little camera helper um, jumping on the bed, so sorry if it's shaky. He ended up doing a science fair project on alternative energy, and it really just sparked, you know, this curiosity in him. So. This is the one that kept coming up. I had never even heard of master books before. Does that make me a bad homeschooler for not knowing that? Who knows? Yeah. But this is what popped up and it was not the cheapest thing in the world, not the most expensive thing in the world. I think I paid 45 for this whole thing, which is not awful when you're talking about curriculums for four children because yes, I involve my four year old in this and yes, my first and second grader do a lot of this too. And I will show you why because it's awesome. But this is the teacher guide. And when you go through, I probably don't even have this in here because it's probably, oh yeah, I do. So this is pretty much your whole syllabus for your year. It tells you all the different days and the different weeks. And you can really organize this however you want to um, organize it. But it just kind of lays the whole thing out. So it's really an open and go kind of a thing. You can use it however. I mean, obviously, we've tweaked it a little bit because that's just what we do. Whoop, wrong way. And it's really been easy to use. And then the lessons, what? That's okay. Okay, so. Hey, I said don't pay. Okay, thank you. So this is the worksheet. I mean, you don't have a worksheet every day. It's kind of just a review at the end of your lesson. And it tells you what days you should be going through. Okay, so that's just the teacher guide. Use it, don't use it, whatever. Right now we're in the weather book. <coughs> you have to excuse my out of breath and coughing. My <clears throat> asthma is not loving me today. So, in the weather book, I mean these pictures are absolutely gorgeous. So weather, we started with, it is the first thing in the curriculum that you, that you do. <clears throat> but, it's perfect timing for us because it is kind of tornado season right now. We live on the edge of Tornado Alley. We get some interesting weather. So this is really good for us to do now. So this is how this works. You have down here, level one is in the white, level two is in the yellow, level one, <laughs> level one is in the white, level two is in the yellow, level three is in the gray. So everything in the Where's white. The purple? There's no purple in this, silly girl. In the white, I read this to everybody. And then we have a little discussion, or we do an activity. And then we come back with my oldest, or maybe while he's still working on his stuff, or while everybody else is working on their project, and they don't do worksheets and stuff on this. My little kids, they just color, they draw, they just listen, whatever they're gonna do. Or they do the experiment. Sometimes this will have an experiment. Sometimes I will create an experiment because of interest, you know? Um, or Google or other homeschool YouTubers that have been awesome enough to put out stuff like that. So, And then the yellow, I will read to him. That'd be my eighth grader. Then we will get to a section. Okay, so here's a good one. That's gray. It's primarily gray. This is white. We will go through this and read this to everybody, have a little talk. This is technically not the level that he's at. This would be your high school level, your gray, your, um, this gray part here. Your white is your younger ones, your, you know, your yellow is like your middle school, junior hires, and then your gray is your high schoolers. But because he is so heavy into science and he has done so much with science already, I am putting him in the high school area and I'm doing most of this with it. Some of it is just way over his head and we, it, it would just be hard for him to follow, so we don't do that. But sometimes I'll go ahead and I'll read it and then we'll just blood kinda have a moon. simple discussion that on it. That's a blood moon. That's a blood moon? No, it's not, it's a sun. It's not a harvest moon. No. A blood moon is a harvest moon, right? It's a harvest. This is the sun though. I know it's red. Are you talking about that? 
Yeah. That's a sunset. That's not a harvest moon. I saw a harvest moon. No, there's no harvest moon. No. What? I'll show you. Show me. You're going to show the people the book? What are you seeing? This is a harvest moon. That's, well, does it look like a harvest moon? Yes. But this is actually the sun, and this is our earth. It's showing the universe. Well, a little section of it anyway. This is the earth. This is where we live. It has purple right here. There's no purple here. <laughs> everything. you got to find the purple in everything. This is our earth. This is our moon. And this is the sun. That is a little red. It's a little red. It's yeah. the same color like a harvest moon, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Like harvest, harvest moon is also called a blood moon. You really like this book, huh? But does it look like a harvest moon? A little bit. The sun is bright. It can be orange and yellow and red. Yeah. Okay, so this is this book. All right. All right, let's finish talking about this book. So there's lots of different things in here, lots of different opportunities. I mean, when we get to a section where we're seeing stuff like this in this book, and then we get some weather come into our area, we'll go see it. We can see this stuff right where we live. So that is a really awesome opportunity to have. And then, well, like right now, we're talking about jet streams and the different kinds of love it clouds so yeah. we went somewhere i don't even remember where it was we had a day where we weren't doing school and we were out oh we had lots of doctor's appointments and we had um i have physical therapy and my uh, son with spd has occupational therapy so it's a lot of driving therapy is 40 minutes one way and then we had a lot of other things to do that day and we did have some weather fronts moving through our area so we got to see lots of different kinds of these things and they brought their journals and they drew what they were seeing as we were doing it. So that's kind of one way that we incorporate. Do you want to show your unicorn? So this is not part of our science curriculum, but Evie has to show, you don't have to put it right up close, her Lammy that just had surgery. Did she just have surgery? Yes. Did you give her kisses and snuggles to make yes. her better? Okay. Yes. And what is your other one? What we got for your birthday? Unicorn. Her unicorn that we got from Build-A-Bear. That is insanely expensive, but so worth it for a birthday, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Did we put this on Instagram? That might be on my Instagram that day that we had. So, yeah, check I it out. I usually play with it. You usually do play with it. It has glitter, roller skates, and a leash, guys. We went all out, didn't we? And it smells like, what does it smell like? Smashmallows. Smashmallows. So, that is weather. Mm -hmm. And then astronomy. I mean, it's the same thing. Same kind of deal. You've got, oh, there's some purple. Where? Right here. Purple words. Okay, so different. Purple! Level one is white. Well, you're off white. Level two is purple. Level three is this dark blue. Gridded back. So, when you are going through different sections. You just do pink. whatever information is for hot your kid's pink. level. This is hot pink. There's a hot pink in there, yes. So I can't wait to do that one. I love astronomy, personally. The ocean is what everybody's super excited for because we just went to Florida. So oh, yes, we got to see the ocean. And it's the same concept in every single book. Level one is white. Level two is mint green. Level three is the darker blue. And this is all Christian. First page, God has given our planet such splendor and our oceans are no different. Hey, Nemo! Nemo, that is not Nemo. Who is that? Nemo. That's not Nemo. Um, Finding Dory. Dory. Beautiful, beautiful illustrations, beautiful photography in here. Spiny pufferfish, he was stuck, wasn't he? Icebergs, this is gonna be Kayla's favorite. My son. Absolutely loves. He like hyper focuses on natural disasters and the Titanic because icebergs. Caleb's and it's Titanic. super interesting. I know, that's what I'm saying. Caleb loves the Titanic. This boy knows more about the Titanic than any adult I know. I'm a girl. I know. Me, you are a girl. I know. I was talking about Caleb. So these are these master books. And then the last one is minerals. Okay, so it's, I mean, it's beautiful. It's These books are beautiful. Fluffy. That, I think that is salt. Yeah. Yeah, would you like to look at these while I talk about the other books? Why don't you move them over there? 
by your rainbow marshmallow. Okay, so the I next thing I'll do, this I did, it's okay, I did enough. Okay, so the next thing I do is I take these nature anatomy, farm anatomy, and, whoa, careful, and food anatomy books, the Julia Rothman collection. I think every homeschooler has seen this or has this or whatever, I'm doing this one handed here. So when I'm doing that environmental science book, any section that can pertain to any part of this, I will use this. Well, we'll use it for all of them because my oldest, yep, yeah, hang on. Here, you want to use one of the other ones? Here. This is the farm one. Bet you there's horses in there. Can you find them? So anything that would pertain, okay, so there is astronomy in here. So we can open this up and kind of tie it in with the astronomy book over there. So that's just how I use it. Oh, this we did. I put this on my Instagram. Um, we did, you know, the famous Oreo for the moon phases. Horsey! And that is always a hit. Horsey! We can do that a million times and it will, Horsey! yes, and it will ingrain the moon, the moon phases into their brains. So lots of different fun things. So this we've done, we did this when we started the weather book and we'll do it several times. The water cycle, predicting weather, the different clouds, just a different kind of picture. Almost done. So that is that. And then this is the last thing I just bought. I found this at Walmart. It was $12.98, I think. And this is more for my older son, just to kind of learn some extra fun things. Of course, we have the periodic table of elements, which he completely loves, especially the song. His goal this year is to memorize the song. He had that goal last year, but he fell short. So this year is his year. And then just, you know, things that you, you need to know. So we have scientific investigation, matter, chemical reactions, and solutions. Hang on, sis, I'm almost done. Okay, well then don't sit there. Motion forces, forces and work, energy, outer space, the universe, and the solar system. So you see how this can work with the science that we already have. So that's what we do. We just kind of add it, and then this I use. We haven't started this because I just bought this, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a notebook that's about this size, that's just like multimedia paper, craft, or um, art paper. So I'm gonna take the multimedia notebooks and just kind of let him use, I don't know, pastels, or we've got some oil paints, or we've got watercolors, or he can just use like, um, charcoal, I've got charcoal pencils, it's just well, he can use crayons, whatever he wants to use to kind of illustrate on a page and then you know make some little notes on another page. <gasps> Excuse me. So that's what we're doing and I'm super excited about these books. Like I would really love to kind of art notebook through this <laughs> myself because it's so fun. I love it. I do it with my Bible and I love that. Look at that. It just makes it so engaging for the kids. And I'm sure my little ones would love to just kind of, well, my littlest one, my four-year-old has already gone through it, talking about colors and, you know, the things that she knows. So that is it. That is our science. Yep. That is our science curriculum for this year. And I think my husband just got home. So we're going to wrap it up here. I will put links below for everything listed here for you guys to check out. And um, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.